everybody. I've got my other journal with me and I made some new graphics for it. And what I love the most about this, this journal, is the cover. I used a gorgeous, and I mean gorgeous, dinner napkin. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? It's just stunning. Got it at an estate sale. I used a ruffle here um, with some ribbon and a flower and a real pretty image of a lady. And then a faint piece of lace right across the top just for a little bit of texture. And going inside, I didn't want to cover up the cover. So I put a belly band in here and uh, just left it so that the beautiful napkin could show through. And on the inside is one of these little booklets I like to make. A little collage in the front and it's just got a sorted paper sprue out. You know, just all kinds of whatever I had extra of from a, like that's Medieval Mirage got uh, from one of her kits I had printed out. It's just got a nice assortment of uh, papers. And again, I forgot to do the back. That's two. They're all in the booklets. Maybe I need to go back and double check my booklets. I'll do that today. And, oh, I didn't measure. Shame on me. <laughs> okay, this is eight by five. Who remembers getting that in school? Uh-huh. And what I did with this one is I put lines over the image and put the image faint so you can journal. These are your journaling pages and it makes for really pretty writing. I used a French book page for the back. I just let a little bit of the top peep over, but what I liked was the natural coloring of it. And I stitched it in a clean color. I left plenty of places for writing or adding your own things in this one. And that was very difficult for me to do. Got a little frame here. I thought it'd be neat to journal in the frame. Got some different fabrics for this pocket. A little pretty image with, um, I don't know if you'd call that damask, but it's real pretty. And two cards. Like the green with the green. Putty putty. Looks like I stitched on every page. Got some different fabrics up here. Got a pretty image. Put a pretty green pocket, and then there's a pocket here, which I will stuff. You know, book page back here, but that's the natural aging, and it's just, you just can't make that, you know. Try though we all may, it's just not the same as the natural. Another picture frame here. That'd be a neat place to put a picture or maybe something, a keepsake or a memory that you have, you know, something you've saved. Pretty image. Different fabrics here. Love this. I don't know where I got that, but I'm almost out of it. A little blue pocket here with uh, some laces and then part of a doily. And two nice cards on the inside. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty. pretty image back here. In you go. Oop. And I thought that would make a nice backdrop um, for something you may want to add. Or write right over it. Another interesting place to write with the French. And see, I'd be writing all over there too. But that's how I journal. I like to write everywhere. Nice little tuck spot here with a pretty image. And a card there. Real pretty. Pretty uh, pocket here with a bunch of the different fabrics. And then I use this cut this fabric on pockets uh, in the book. Another pretty image. <coughs> Excuse me. Need that pretty image there. Another pocket here with some different fabrics and a little doodad, and then a really pretty 
card. Another card here in a tuck spot. Lined paper. And I put a card over this uh, French book page. There's that pretty blue fabric, and it's it's got tan um, embroidery on it, and that's uh, part of a doily there. A pretty image, lady wash, ladies washing clothes. Look at that, love that, love it. Another pretty image there. Some different fabrics up here. Another frame. Lots of places to journal and add things. Pretty green pocket here with a little tag. You may want to uh, label something, you know, let you know what's in here in this pocket. Nice big card. So this is the side I would journal on. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Another pocket here with some different fabrics and greens. And two cards. I love this. She's teaching her puppy. Y'all know I love the... Love those animals. Some different fabrics here. Several. And a pretty image over on this side. Another beautiful frame. And then in this belly band, I put one of these little pocket uh, holders. You can journal back here if you wanted to. And um, it's just got a tag in it that's been stamped and inked and all kinds of stuff. But it'll hold more. You can put a lot of stuff in here. And then it'll hold right there. And the tie is just uh, muslin that I stitched around. But isn't that just stunning? Mm -mm -mm. I only was able to get four of these at an estate sale. So when they're gone, they're gone. Now, I haven't seen too many of these. I must have gotten there early enough to get them. <laughs> and did I measure this? I don't remember. No. Eight by five. Just in case I didn't. And if I did, well, there it is again. <laughs> All right, y'all, I've got one more journal to do for this week, and I will see you very shortly in that video. Bye-bye, everybody.